Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News is protecting your family. It's a phone call guaranteed to make your blood run cold. This call is from the Legal Department of Social Security Administration. Your social security number has been suspended and we have filed a case under your name. Imagine receiving one of those. Yes, the scammer claims your social security number has been frozen. But don't fall for it. It's a scam that's spreading fast and inciting fear. In 2018, 35,000 people reported being targeted by the social security scam with a total of $10 million lost. Yes, $10 million. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter is talking to the Better Business Bureau to help protect you and your money. Well, the, the phone rang and I answered it and they said, this is the IRS calling and we have canceled your social security number due to improper, what we feel is improper activity. Fred Bloom is one of a number of Western New Yorkers getting these calls, claiming to be from the Social Security Administration or the IRS. I don't think the IRS calls. Usually they will send something to you about it. He's right. Law enforcement and representatives from the Better Business Bureau are trying to get the word out to protect people as the number of calls increase. Unfortunately, the people who are getting these calls might be getting Social Security checks. They might be getting Social Security disability. Um, so there might be that red flag, that nervousness of, oh my God, I better talk to these people and make sure everything's okay. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Government agencies aren't calling random people saying that we've turned off your Social Security number, whatever that might mean. It's an improper use of your Social Security number. Very rarely do we use the Social Security number. They don't need your social security number because if it is the SSA, they already have it. They issued it to you. And check out our Facebook page. Many of you have sent in screenshots of your own scammer horror stories. The last thing to keep in mind is that although the number might look familiar, let it go to voicemail, see who it is, and then call them back if it seems legit. In studio tonight, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.